Hello and good evening, it's Phil Thatch. I'm here in my kitchen and Heather and I have just made a crazy contraption and we made it because I ordered this crazy vintage Minolta 50 millimeter F1.4 lens from 1973, which is almost as old as me. And it came in and it's just absolutely beautiful. I got it, ordered it on eBay for like $70 delivered. It came from a place in Indiana called Robert's camera, they gave me great service and the, the item came in just like they represented it. So maybe check them out. But anyway, it's this absolutely beautiful 50 millimeter Minolta lens that I'm going to adapt and put on my Nikon Z6. Well, I ordered the adapter the same day that I ordered this and the adapter's not here yet, but it's so beautiful. I said, you know what? I need to make a, a photograph of it. So. I started thinking about that and really I need to make some sort of a product photography studio sort of thing. And I've kind of been getting kind of close to that here with some stands and some lights and blah, blah, blah on the kitchen table. But really I needed to go uh, kind of plus that a little bit. So I looked on, on the internet and I saw some people making boxes like this. And, and my plan is kind of similar to theirs. It's, it's not exactly like the ones I saw on YouTube. So let me show you what we did. Okay, so we went to Staples and we picked up one of these uh, medium sized boxes. It's 16 inches by 16 inches by 16 inches. And, uh, you know, we put the box together and we've got these cheap uh, lights that are, are fantastic. Heather bought them for me. Actually, the blue one was hers and I started using it for photography and she bought me two more. They're little LED lights that cost like, what are they, $5.99? $5 or $5.99, something like that at Walmart. And I really like the light that they produce. And I've used them a whole bunch, but I thought that, uh, that something like this might be a better idea. So we bought some poster board also, and we lined the box with the poster board, except uh, the piece on the back starts at the top and curves so it doesn't have any harsh lines behind your product photography subject. And uh, I thought, you know, some of the designs have had aluminum foil on the side and I thought that would be too harsh and I thought the light just coming straight down on it would be too harsh. So, so my idea was to, to uh, make an aluminum foil platform that the light would shine straight onto that and then and leave a gap on all the sides so that the light could bounce around and then be indirect lighting uh, coming down. And I put some white uh, board on the bottom and you can see that the light that comes in it, uh, on this tape measure that we use to make our measurements is fairly beautiful. So this is, this is the design and uh, you know, I've got, I'll use it for macro photography and I'll use it to make photographs of lenses and things, things like that to go in my videos. And uh, a friend of mine at work, Kobe, he's, he's been painting some figurines and just doing meticulous work. So I've been planning on making photographs of those for him. So I'll use this for that. So I'll get a lot of use out of this. And uh, now let's make photos of that beautiful Minolta lens. So I'm using my new to me 105 millimeter F 2.8 macro that I bought from Joy a little while back to make these shots. And it's working pretty well. Let me show you the settings. The whole time we worked on this uh, product photography studio, Libby slept, and now that I'm working on a video about it, she is up and wobbling around and making a racket and being cute. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Silly dog. So I guess the only problem with this setup is it's not very bright inside the softbox, and I could make the, the exposure longer and longer, but there's all sorts of dogs wobbling around and drinking water out of a bowl. So I bumped my ISO up to 400, which of course the Z6 can handle 400 ISO like it's nothing. Uh, so I can get a shutter speed of around a fifth of a second instead of going really, really long. And I'm exposing it, uh, uh, I think you might be able to see on the meter, it's a little bit overexposed. I'm, I'm uh, taking a few shots and, and exposing it all the way up until the, until the white is almost blown out. So the lens has plenty of light on it. I'm gonna do a few more angles. I did one straight at the front and here's one on the side. I'll, I'll do some more shots of it. Okay, I just got done uh, making some photographs of the 47 year old Minolta lens 
And uh, just for giggles, I uh, took some pictures of a couple of Nikkor lenses that are old enough to drink beer, and I'll show those to you now. Okay, so here are the results that can be obtained using the cardboard box product photography studio that Heather and I made. And here's some shots of that beautiful 47-year-old lens, the Minolta 50mm f1.4 MC Roker XPG that I purchased on eBay. Really excited about this lens. I can't wait till I get to start using it. On this shot, I closed the aperture down just a stop or two so you could see the shape of the aperture blades in the lens. And then I got out a couple of more old lenses I've bought recently. The one on the right has some um, infinity focusing issues, but it only cost $29. And the one on the left was only $48 or $49. I can't remember exactly how much. And it is really working well. So enjoy these photos. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.